Hey guys, what's up? It's Eric with Advanced Level Automotive. Uh, today I got this 2006 Ford F-150. It's got a 5.4 liter V8 engine in it. Customer complaint, AC not working. It's been a pretty hot summer, so we got a lot of AC work. I don't know, this might be easy, might not be. But uh, hopefully you guys stay tuned. Let's see what we find. All right, so first things first, let's verify the customer's complaint. Get in and start this thing up. Uh, got the key right here. This is the King Ranch edition, by the way, which actually is really nice. I really like these leather seats. This cool little emblem right here. But let's go ahead and start this thing up. I had a little bit of an extended crank there, but not really what we're worried about. So we got the AC on. This does have the automatic climate control. Make sure that AC is on. Blower all the way up. And it doesn't really feel like it's cooling at all. I think first things first, let's go ahead and go under the hood and check to see if the uh, AC compressor clutch is engaging. All right, so here we are under the hood. The uh, AC compressor is located down on this side. Let's see if I can get a good shot of it. Turn on my flashlight here. And I'm pointing at the AC compressor right down there if you can see it. <clears throat> and it's pretty evident that the uh, AC compressor is not coming on. Probably the next easiest thing that we can do is go ahead and connect the scan tool and just check to see if there's actually a command uh, from the PCM to the AC compressor to come on. So we are back inside the vehicle. We've got the scan tool hooked up over here. So you can see the first uh, few data pins are related to the AC clutch and the cycling switch. And the one thing that I see, which is a red flag, the AC clutch, as you can see it's commanded on and the AC clutch allowed, saying yes. What this means is that the engine computer is trying to activate the AC compressor clutch, but when we look under the hood, the compressor clutch is not coming on. The other thing we can see right here is that the uh, cycling switch, the pressure cycling switch is on, so that does indicate that we do have uh, sufficient refrigerant in the system. I don't think we actually have a data pit that tells us the actual pressure in the AC system. We may or may not have one. Yeah, there's no data pit that gives us the actual pressure uh, of the refrigerant in the system. Uh, basically, the uh, the AC pressure switch is just an on and off switch. So whenever it hits a certain pressure, it's either open or it's closed. So, so right now, as you can see, everything is functioning properly. Uh, this doesn't look like it's going to be a problem with the refrigerant or anything like that. This looks like uh, more than likely it's going to be a problem with the AC clutch. Uh, the next thing we're going to need to do is... Uh, get under the hood, uh, get to the connector at the compressor clutch, and check to see if we have good power and good ground. All right, so we're underneath the vehicle right now, uh, trying to get a better look at the AC compressor. And if you look, try to get a good shot of this. All right, so what we're looking at is the clutch hub and the clutch pulley. See if I can focus in on that. All right, so what we're looking at is the clutch hub and the clutch pulley. Uh, this is the pulley part right here, and this plate on the front is the hub. And already I can tell that there's a really excessive gap right here. And if you look at the front of the clutch hub, where these kind of uh, circular weights are, let's see if I can get a view from the front. All right, you see these circular weights? You can already see that the bushing here has started coming apart. So you see how much play there is in that thing? Yeah, so this thing. What? What? What the fuck happened, dude? Let me help you 
All right, guys, so it's pretty evident that this thing is going to need a compressor clutch, uh, but that doesn't take away from the fact that we still need to verify whether or not we're getting power at the connector for the AC compressor clutch. So we still need to check that just to make sure there isn't another problem. I've already got the uh, connector right here. I went ahead and removed the wheel so that I can gain access. Uh, I unplugged the connector at the compressor clutch. It's a two pin connector. One is going to be the power. One is going to be the ground. So I have the scan tool hooked up over here. What we're going to do is uh, in active test, we're going to go ahead and command the AC clutch to come on. Alright, so now we're in the active test for the AC compressor clutch. I'm going to go ahead and hit the on button, and that's going to send a 12 volt feed to the connector. So let's go ahead and hit on. Alright, so now we can just take our power probe. So we're going to go ahead and just touch it. Just the tip of this. I'm not going to push hard. I'm simply going to stick it in there and touch the terminal, see if we have power, and see if we have ground. We should have one power and one ground. Uh, this is a little too thick to fit in there, so let me go ahead and just use a back probe. I have one right here. We can just go ahead and back probe this connector. Sorry, it's kind of difficult to do this with one hand and film it at the same time. We're going to go ahead and touch the back probe on this pin. And I've got nothing there. Alright, so I double checked my back probe on this wire. Uh, I'm still not getting any power here on this wire. So let's go ahead and switch over to the other wire, which is the ground. And let's check to make sure if we have a good ground. I'm going to go ahead and touch it with the power probe. Alright, so as you can see, we do have a good ground on the ground wire, but we're still not getting any power where we should have power on this pin right here. Alright guys, so looking at this wiring diagram, it's actually a pretty simple setup. If you look over here, you'll see the AC compressor clutch. Again, it's a two-wire connector. Uh, one is just a constant ground. This is a body ground and this is the power feed right here. This where we checked with the power probe. We did not have any power reaching pin one. So if we backtrace this, you'll see that there's a relay in the circuit. Again, it's a pretty simple setup. The uh, PCM controls this relay on this leg of the circuit right here. So if we follow that wire down, you'll see that it goes to the powertrain control module. There's a couple inputs that it's looking for the uh, AC pressure switch right here and the cycling switch so when those switches are in the correct position it sends a signal to the engine computer and the engine computer then grounds this circuit right here when it grounds that circuit it energizes this part of the relay which closes this circuit right here and sends a power down to the uh, AC compressor clutch one thing that we do know is that uh, with the scan tool we are showing that the PCM is grounding the circuit right here so we know that the inputs are good. So this relay should be engaging. A couple things we can check. First thing, uh, we'll go to this fuse right here. Make sure that this 10 amp fuse is good. So let's go ahead and check those fuses. Let's go down to the fuse box. It's in this uh, right hand side kick panel over here. There's a little cover you pop off and that'll give you access to the fuse box. As you can see, we've already located fuse 11. This is the fuse for the AC compressor clutch. I'm gonna use the power probe. We're gonna touch each side of the fuse and we're gonna see if this fuse is still good. So. Touch the one side. So you can see that side is good. Let's check the other side. And I'm touching the other side, but we got nothing on there. Let's go ahead and pull that fuse out and see if it's burned. All right guys, so I just went ahead and pulled the fuse out. As you can see, if you look inside the fuse, you'll see that this fuse is burned. So let's go ahead and install another one. All right guys, so now we have a freshly new installed 10 amp fuse on fuse 11. Let's go ahead and verify whether or not we have power at the connector for the compressor clutch. All right guys, so we are now showing power at the connector. Let's go ahead and get a clutch installed in this thing. 
All right, guys, so we have the old compressor out of the vehicle. This is the new compressor we have over here. Uh, the customer actually opted to go ahead and get the entire compressor. This is a brand new unit. And in fact, the, the whole unit really was only about $40 more than buying just the clutch assembly. Again, the problem with the old compressor, this clutch was completely worn out. On top of that, we also had a short in the uh, magnetic clutch coil. So this coil right here was shorted, which caused the fuse to blow. And that was another reason the compressor clutch was not engaging, apart from the fact that this thing is completely worn out. Like I said, look at that excessive gap and all the play. Look at me. You see how much play is in that pulley right there? There really shouldn't be much of gap here. As you can see, this pulley is nice and nice and tight. So let's go ahead and get this installed. All right, guys, so we got the new compressor installed. System has been vacuumed and recharged. So it's ready to turn on. Let's go ahead and start this thing up. All right, now let's go underneath the vehicle and let's check to see if that AC compressor is coming on. All right, guys, we are underneath the truck. You can see the AC compressor clutch right there. Wait for it to cycle on. Perfect. Looks like everything's working great. Let's go ahead and get this vehicle back to the customer.